Hey, Joe, can you stop tagging me on Facebook with you every time we're together? What, why do you do that? Are you just, you just bragging about being with me? No, I'm just showing people that we're having a good time. Yeah, well, stop it. Nobody else tags me. Makes it seem like you're the only person I hang out with. Why is your hand moving up and down in your pocket so fast? Because I'm looking. For this. I guess what I'm trying to say, Dad, is that I want to spend the rest of my life with you at... You know what? I'm gonna be a bachelor. Let people talk. I know I'm straight. Hello? Quagmire, I think I'm making a big mistake. And after tomorrow, there's no going back. I, I just don't know. Peter, Peter, Peter. What you're feeling right now is completely normal. Really? Of course it is. If everybody who had doubts on the eve of his wedding threw in the towel, nobody would be married. And look, I'm not saying it isn't scary. It is. But you're not married. And I'm not happy either. What? You seem like the happiest guy in the world. It's a mask, Peter. Now you go back to bed. And when you feel the breeze on your ears tomorrow, that's Glenn Quagmire telling you that everything's gonna be okay. Thanks, Quagmire. You're a good man. I hope someday we can talk about marriage. <laughs> yeah, when I get married, it's not gonna be to some whore. Well, we took a chance being married outdoors and it paid off. I like that I'm marrying a risk taker. On this most special of days, who gives this young man away? Uh, I do. Very good. And to whom will he be married? Uh, me again. Wh for real? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, should we just move along to the vows, then? Chris, I still remember the first time I laid eyes on you. I was standing before a studio audience at the Maury Povich show, having just taken a blood test. And when those rednecks were screaming boo at me in that crappy brick studio, and that fat lady threw a cup of water at me, that's when I knew you were mine, and that we would be together forever. Amen. Let's all go home. Well, we did already pay for the honeymoon. Ah, <sighs> Perry. Mom sure looked pissed at the airport. All right, bullies, let's keep it simple out there. Race, weight, complexion. We've got an ugly girl with braces and an Indian boy with a turban. Let's get on the board right away. I nominate Principal Shepard. Shut up, Neil, you shameless kiss-ass. Oh, hey, Stewie. Ready to go to school? Chris, my man, I have good news for you. I feel like I've taught you everything you need to know to fend for yourself. So today, you're going off on your own, and I am taking a spa day. Seaweed wrap, paraffin dip, and if I'm lucky, maybe someone squashes my bits around. Not gonna ask for it, but if it comes, I'm not gonna refuse. Ah, give me one of those. You smoke too? How do you think I got to be death? Wasn't by eating celery. I can't quit now, Lois. I'm an inspiration to people. You know, like, like that fly who gave that commencement address. Class of 2013, as I look out at you, seeing 18 to 20 times more of you than there really are because of my thousand facet fly eyes, I encourage you to rub your front spindly hand legs together, to fly from dung pile to garbage pile, to land and tap at stuff with that weird tube thing that comes out of your mouth, and to enjoy every moment until a day or so later when a chubby woman hits you with a magazine. Who the hell got this guy to speak? Hey guys, keep it down. Day five of my imprisonment inside Chris's backpack. Isolation has proven to be my biggest enemy. If not for the birds I raise, I would be completely alone.